everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook oven baked asparagus with blood orange. Now citrus is a beautiful pairing with asparagus, whether it's lemon or lime, grapefruit even, but blood orange is going to be something extra special. Blood oranges are usually available in the winter through the spring and this is what they look like inside. They can vary um, in degrees of darkness. Some are like really dark, dark, nearly black in color, they're so dark. Um, on picture but these guys have a nice um, red hue through them and you can see that these guys some of them have this little red blush color on the outside as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put these asparagus in a bread loaf pan if you have more asparagus or they don't fit in here you can use a larger baking dish so what I've got is one bunch of asparagus that you get at your store and they've been washed and I need to remove this the woody ends so they're just gonna snap wherever they feel like that's gonna show you what's too hard to eat and what's nice and tender still do not throw these out put these in a resealable plastic bag in your freezer for the next time you make a soup stew or stock these guys are just gonna get arranged in the loaf pan I'm gonna do them all one direction so that they when they come out they still look really nice so you're just gonna bend the stalks near the end and they'll break wherever they want to. Now this is quick and easy prep work for this side dish and this will take less than 20 minutes to finish. So I'm going to put a knob of butter near the tops of the asparagus that'll all kind of melt in there. I'm also going to sprinkle these guys with some freshly ground pepper all over. These are going to get tossed after so everything will be coated as well. A little bit of sea salt. I'm going to use a half of a blood orange. I'm just going to squeeze that into my hand to make sure that no um, pits go in there. Also, I like to save my seeds so that I can uh, try and grow some myself as well. So just squeeze that blood orange. What a gorgeous, glorious color it is. This is gonna be perfect for a holiday side dish or just great for any kind of springtime dish. This would be great for Easter as well, Mother's Day, Father's Day. So I'm going to put the skin in with the asparagus, uh, the skin side up. The essential oils will come out of that skin and not only infuse it with a beautiful fragrance, but a beautiful flavor as well. Now blood oranges are quite sweet. I'm going to add a little bit of tang to this with some gorgeous blood orange vinegar. This is from Napa Valley Vinegar Company. Make sure you check out my review on this. It is delicious. Uh, you can see here that it has actually, um, it's a little bit cloudy. And the reason is because it actually has blood orange puree in there. Make sure you check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. They have a whole line of fruit vinegars that I am in love with. You're gonna love them. They're very versatile. They're great for your side dishes, for your salads, for cocktails even. Make sure you check out some recipes that we've done with our gorgeous blood orange vinegar. So I'm just gonna use maybe a teaspoon. That's going to facilitate a little bit of tang. This is also quite sweet. It's really concentrated blood orange flavor, and it's just gonna give a little bit more moisture that we need to kind of steam these uh, asparagus up. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of that. Just gonna drizzle that all over. If you wanna add another teaspoon, feel free. I might add just another little tiny bit. There we go, maybe one and a half teaspoons. Oh, it smells so good. You wouldn't do that with most vinegars. <sighs> nice and sweet. What a beautiful blood orange flavor. Now my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Get yourself a piece of aluminum foil that's large enough to cover whatever kind of dish you're using, baking dish. You wanna spray the shiny side, that's gonna go down. You don't want anything to stick. Now before I cover it up, let me show you what it looks like. That's very, very simple. If you wanted to add some chili flakes to this, go ahead. Now cover this up, seal it nicely. You wanna make sure that all that gorgeous concentrated flavor of blood orange is gonna stay in there and kind of steam that asparagus. It's gonna be lovely. Tonight we're serving this alongside some gorgeous Napa Jack's Chipotle Cabernet barbecue beef ribs, as well as some nice rice for the side dish, another side dish. So into the oven, this is gonna take anywhere from 10 to like 15 minutes, I'm, I'm thinking. You wanna make sure that these guys are knife tender. You're going to um, poke your a small sharp knife into one of the stalks to see if it goes right through. If it goes right through, then you're done. If not, then you need to let it go just a little bit longer, but it will definitely take under 20 minutes. Into the oven it goes on 350 degrees. 
Okay, I think these asparagus are done. We're gonna test them for doneness with a sharp knife. Go ahead and pierce the bottom of one of the stalks. Nice fat one. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to serve them on a beautiful plate. I'm gonna try and keep them all the same direction so that it looks nice. That orange, I, oh, it smells so good. So go ahead and toss that in the blood orange juice as well as all that nice butter. Get everything coated before you transfer them. And simply arrange them so they look beautiful. If you wanna pour some of this extra juice in the plate, which I'm going to do because it smells so good and it's gonna be so tasty. If you wanna put a little extra butter on there, feel free to do that. Oh yeah, everyone can kind of dunk their asparagus in there before they serve themselves. And I have a lovely slice of blood orange to put on the top as a garnish. I've just cut um, a slice from the center to the edge and you're just going to twist it into kind of a circle. And there you go. Gorgeous side dish, so easy. And it's gonna be so flavorful. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? What a lovely way to bring it to the table as well. All right, mom, you wanna try one? Absolutely. These are oven baked asparagus with blood orange. Oh, and butter. They look gorgeous. I'm going to try one too. Make sure mm. it's all dipped in. Oh my God, Kim. that is so good. Mm. Oh. They're oh. perfectly done. They're not mushy. They still have a, a somewhat of a crunch, but they're for sure done. Mm. Really delicious. The blood orange is kind of sweet and tangy from that vinegar as well. Oh, mm, and it buttery. It together nicely. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, it's so delicious. Doing them this way, they're not boiling in water and the top's all falling apart. You can see these guys have still uh, maintained their integrity. Look at that, oh, the little fronds. They're beautiful. They glisten in the blood orange butter. Here, Mom. Mm. These would be great to serve on a buffet because they, they stick together, you wouldn't mind if somebody picked them up, you know? Well, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Um, they're really delicious. They'd be perfect for Easter or any mm. kind of holiday dish. Mother's Day, wouldn't you like that for Mother's Day? Mm -hmm. Father's Day, birthdays, Valentine's Day. This Any is kind of a, for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, asparagus is known to be somewhat of an aphrodisiac, so it'd be great for Valentine's Day as well. They're just easy, simple, healthy, and delicious. I've never tasted asparagus that's better than that. No? No. See, there's not a lot of handling when you do them this way in the oven. They get mm. to just kind of sit and steam a little bit. And all the tops are intact. The top, tops are intact and all soaked the butter in. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook oven-baked asparagus with blood orange. Make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com for this awesome vinegar that you can do so much with and their whole line of these fantastic fruit vinegars. You're gonna love them, winecountrykitchens.com. That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Yummy.